Hello, good afternoon. My name's Professor Lynn Bianchi. I am the Vice Dean for Social Responsibility, Equality, Diversity, Inclusion and Accessibility in the Faculty of Science and Engineering. And it is with great pleasure that I welcome you here to the University of Manchester and these magnificent surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this, your graduation ceremony. In particular, I would like to welcome our graduates, whose hard work and magnificent achievements are what we're all here to celebrate today. You've all met, adapted, and overcome challenges not known in a century, making your achievements all the more remarkable. The skills, knowledge, and experience you've developed during your time with us has given you a strong platform to not only build your career and achieve your goals, but also to succeed in the face of any obstacles you may face in the future. We're absolutely also delighted to see so many friends, family members and supporters. Thank you for coming. We thank you also for your support and encouragement that you've given to our students during their studies which has been so important to their success. You can be extremely proud of what they have achieved, and I can assure you that the colleagues across the schools and faculties also are. When those of you graduating today chose to study at the University of Manchester, you dedicated to make your mark on the future, not only for yourselves, but for the greater good of society and the environment. As the first university in the UK to set social responsibility as a core goal, we encourage all our students to engage in transformational activities, both in their studies and beyond, to help them stand out, to consider their place in the world and to make a difference. Throughout the course of your studies and life at the university, you will have gained many skills and much knowledge to find success and become responsible leaders of tomorrow. You're probably glad to see the back of quite a few of your assignments now and the planning and the research and the writing skills that have gone with it. But don't forget that you have nurtured those skills and you'll put them to great value in the world of work or perhaps further study. And of course, we must not forget the strong, supportive friendships and relationships that you've forged here, which I hope you will sustain for many years to come. Put simply, your achievements in completing your degree cannot be overestimated, given the challenging times that you have faced, not only as a community, but as citizens of the world. As you reflect on your past and, and plan for the future, allow yourself to be inspired by the university's motto, Cognito Sapientia Humanitas, Knowledge, Wisdom, Humanity. We encourage you to boldly pursue new ideas and share and apply your knowledge to benefit others. With these commitments in mind, you will continue to build on your current successes and the successes that you've enjoyed in your studies to make a real difference to the world around you. You can be confident in whatever you choose to live, work and make an impact and value your degree and the value of your degree will be widely recognised. Manchester is known as one of the world's leading universities, placed 28th globally and 6th in the UK in the QS university rankings. And in the last 12 months, we've seen the university demonstrate our research on a local, national and global scale. Our submission to the Research Excellence Framework in 2021, which is a UK-wide assessment of university research performance, was one of the largest and broadest in the sector and many of you here have been part of that extraordinary effort. We were delighted with the results in which 93% of university research, research activity was assessed as world leading and internationally excellent. Beyond our reputation as a renowned centre of academic excellence and pioneering research and discovery, we are proud of all our well-established and recognised successes in social responsibility. Earlier this year, this focus culminated in our university being the first in Europe in the Times, educational, um, Times Higher Education University Impact Rankings, 
which rates institutions and their contributions to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Indeed, we are the only university in the world to rank in the top 10 for social and environmental impact in every year of these global rankings. This is a fantastic achievement and it shines a light on our core values and recognises what we can achieve together, delivering benefits for the good of society and transforming lives for the better. We're also delighted to present our eighth cohort of Stellify achievers. And the Stellify programme offers a unique and personalised set of activities to help you develop the distinctive attributes of a University of Manchester student. Socially responsible, sociable responsible, highly employable and resourceful. We are really proud that so many of you here today have taken part in Stellify activities during your time at the university. During your studies, you have all, in your own way, enriched and contributed to the University of Manchester as it exists today. You have helped shape the future for those who follow in your footsteps. <laughs> the university is changing and we will continue to change for the better because of you. So today is as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution as for your successes in your studies. Armed with your academic success, your skills and your breadth of experiences, there is every reason to be positive about your futures. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers all around the world recognise the value of a University of Manchester education. Today is a hugely important milestone and you should celebrate your successes. But this is just the beginning of a journey and your association with Manchester, not the end. The return on your investment continues beyond today's celebrations. Our career service will continue to offer you help and support for the next two years and you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. We're proud to have the largest alumni community of any campus-based university with over 500,000 graduates living and working in more than 190 countries across the world, all linking back to Manchester. The Alumni Association will help you connect with the community and remain in contact with the university. As alumni, you can then help future students in so many ways as ambassadors of the university, in student placements and employment, and directly in the development of the university itself. You are really vital to our future. We sincerely hope that today will not be your last contact with the university. Remember, our doors are always open to you. I'd now like to invite Professor Chris Hardacre Vice Dean and Head of the School of Natural Sciences. Vice Dean, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this graduation ceremony for the School of Natural Sciences and the School of Engineering. As Head of the School of Natural Sciences, I have the privilege to welcome you to today's event. I want to offer an especially warm welcome to our graduates, family and friends who have supported you during your years of study. Graduates, would you please stand up? It's just a bit of exercise, really. I think we should offer your family and friends a round of applause for all of their help. Okay, you can sit down now. You get to stand in again in a minute. Okay. <coughs> Graduation is the highlight of the university year. It is a day of celebration when we join together to applaud your achievements. You will soon be graduating from a university with a global reputation, which has many international staff and students, making it a truly multicultural society one which is enhanced by learning from each other and interacting with the wide variety of cultures and beliefs within our international community. Today is one which many of you have dreamed about, but maybe have doubted whether you all have got to this point, 
and achieved the results that would lead you here. However, you have overcome all the challenges, as Lynn said earlier, many of which have uh, been dramatic over the last couple of years or so. And we can now celebrate your success. I'm delighted for you. Your lives have been transformed by the Manchester experience. The memories and skills that have, you have gained from your time here will enable you to transform the lives of others, both here in the UK and throughout the world. We have students graduating from across the School of Natural Sciences and Engineering today. Our departments have a global reputation for excellence in research and teaching and a long tradition in educating students and developing transformational change. As graduates, you join a very long line dating back to when the Mechanics Institute was founded here in Manchester in 1824. The Faculty of Science and Engineering has origins in those early days, nearly 200 years ago, through the science and engineering taught then. We are here primarily to celebrate the achievements of students from across two departments, Department of Materials and Department of Chemical Engineering. The Department of Materials covers a very wide subject area, including the science and technology of textiles, its business practices, and structures. We study materials of all kinds here at Manchester, including metals, ceramics, polymers, composites, functional materials, biomaterials, and nanomaterials. In fact, you could say we cover the A to Z of materials from Angora to Zirconia. The department is strongly connected with the establishment of the Henry Royce Institute for Advanced Materials, which opened in Manchester in 2021. It has also recently moved into the new £450 million Manchester Engineering Campus Development Building, along with the Faculty's School of Engineering. Our staff have been recognised strongly for their contributions to materials and society. For example, Alan Matthews has recently become a Fellow of the Royal Society. Hannah Rampley was awarded Global Colourist of the Year. Ahu Parry was named as an emerging scientist in nanoscale. Charlene Gallery obtained a Teaching Excellence Award for Flexible Learning and Digital Delivery. And a new member of staff, Tom Flint, was awarded the Donald Julius Gruen Prize for work on electromagnetic and hydrodynamic evolution in arc welding. As many of you are aware, Manchester is the birthplace of chemical engineering. And chemical engineering, unfortunately, often gets associated with chemical plants, with smoke billowing from tall stacks. But in its origin, chemical engineering was developed to prevent this. George Davis, the founding father of chemical engineering, designed most of his processes as a result of his intense disgust with the methods of manufacture which polluted the air, rivers and watercourses and wasted good land for trips. George Davis was a pioneer of sustainability. He stated that the aim of all chemical procedures should be the utilisation of everything and the avoidance of waste. It is often cheaper to prevent waste than attempt to utilise a waste product. Today, the work in the Department of Chemical Engineering is no different, and we can and do make a difference to society and the environment. Chemical Engineering staff and students have made a big impact this year, obtaining the ICME McNabb Lacey Medal for the Best Design Project, the award of the Salters Prize to Ali Kanu, and having both the University PhD student and Postdoctoral Research Associate of the Year within the department. Aileen Miller was nominated as one of the top 50 women in engineering in the UK. We've also been leading the way in sustainability engineering through a £6 million plus development of our pilot plant and research programme for low carbon hydrogen, both at a regional and national level. Coming back to you as graduates, you will be graduating into a world where traditional geographical and cultural boundaries are changing, but it's also a world in which we need to harness our collective strengths for the common good 
in order to generate real benefits and improvements for global society. It is great to see so many international students in the hall today. We have a focus on developing links across the world at all levels, and I'm so proud to be interacting with students who've had the courage to come to another country to undertake their studies. You've added an extra dimension to the schools and departments' communities, and we are delighted to have had this opportunity to interact with you. In the next few weeks, months, and years, all of you will reflect of your, on your time here at Manchester. You've become part of the Manchester family, and the degrees which you have obtained are valuable assets. This is a competitive world, and higher educations have never been, uh, education qualifications rather, have never been more important. A degree from Manchester sets you apart from the rest, and you've earned your degree through dedication and hard work. In the words of Nelson Mandela, education is the most powerful weapon with which you can change the world. So now it is your turn to do so. You're joining a global network of graduates from Manchester. As Lynn said, we have a very large alumni community with many graduates holding top positions in every imaginable field. We're very proud of you and we look forward to hearing about your success in the future. In closing, Always remember Michelangelo's quote, that the danger for most of us lies not in setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. I'd encourage you to be ambitious in all you do, and I offer you my congratulations once again and my best wishes for the future. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Juanis Belos. <laughs> Clarissa Brechtken. <laughs> Paul Carpenter. Jadong Chen. <laughs> Elliot Cooksey Nash. <laughs> Dominic Krask. <laughs> Norfadila Binti Dolmat. Athanasios Gridis. <laughs> Francesco Guracino. <laughs> Dongchen Hu. <laughs> Niall William Hughes. Simon Henry Michael McCormack. <laughs> Jiru Kin. <laughs> Dominic Shaw. <laughs> Catherine Steele. Sorry, Catherine Smith, sorry. Lindsay Steele. Camille Suwada. Jacheng Wang. Berza Yavuz Yegit. <laughs> Anne 
And for the degree of Master of Philosophy Materials, Samuel David Edwards. Rosa Lang. Tan Lo Wong. And for the degree of Master of Science Advanced Engineering Materials, Avinash Narei Anam. Yixin Chen. Vishnukiran Nerdaz. Xiaojun Fan. Sri Sarang Guna Sekaran. Hemanth Abhinav Guntamala. Ziwan Jin. Ajay Sankar Kavankara Thadail. Lingfei Kong. Mingyi Li. Yong Hao Yang. Menki Liu. Howl Quinn. Setupathi Rangaraj. Yuchen Wang. Giorgio Eliash Webby. Jianchi Wen. Jai Yi Wen. Chu Yan Shu. Yuge Yang. Jack Shi Zhang. Ki Zhang. Zi Chao Zhu. And in analytical chemistry and measurement science, Rowena Illyria de Hoog. Adrian Pace. Nathan White. And in biomaterials, Ahmad Jihad Yahya Al Sholi. <laughs> Bhuvaneshwari and Bazagan. <laughs> Bing Bing Gay. <laughs> Yu Chen Hei. Puvitsi Karithavan. <laughs> Andrea Carolina Crixman Valbuena.
Satish Raja Palani Kumar. <laughs> Yifan Pan. <laughs> and in corrosion control engineering, Yasin Sadiq Ali Al Lawati. Hora Yusuf Abdullah Al Wahabi. Xu Yu Chen. Ivan Gomez Perdiguro. João Gabriel Gumares de Farias. Kaige Lu. <clears throat> Adil Nasa. <clears throat> Emmanuel Chuk Wudum Odelili. <clears throat> Charles Echo Rabbles. Ramana Ramalingam Makesh. <laughs> and in nanomaterials, Manthan Chetan Kumar Desai. <laughs> Altamash Iqbal Dalait. <laughs> Vidik Dixit. Mustafa Ikinchi. <laughs> Zizong Li. <laughs> Ziyu Mao. <laughs> Siguang Meng. Kamalika Sengupta. Igna Ignasi Simon Grau. Jibo Wang. Junpeng Shi. Yuxin Zhang. <laughs> and in polymer material science and engineering, Po Chon Chow. <laughs> Zaki Asharki. <laughs> An Yu Gao. <laughs> Xin Yun Hei. Jiang, <laughs> Jian Li, <laughs> Ru Hao Li, <laughs> Kyung Sok Li, <laughs> Tian Kin. Lingwei Xiao. <laughs> Jingzei Wang. <laughs> Kining Wen. <laughs> Jianbo Zhu. <laughs> Wenjing Zong. And in science biomaterials, Nirmal Raj Arokia Raj. <laughs> Ni Jing Wang. <laughs> Ni 
and in polymers, material science and engineering, Yuan Meng. And in textile technology, technical textiles, Anu Suadas. Maria Hanna Dawich. Li Teng Deng. Ayushi Sanjay Gopade. Flora Littlewood. Vaibhav Balasheb Nitave. Srisatya Ganeswara Venkata Nara Simham Prabala. Nithin Pranao Rangasami Senthil Kumar. Priyadashini Venkata Salam. Ziyu Wang. Yi Yang Zong. And for the award of postgraduate diploma in corrosion control engineering, Mohammed Harsath Mohammed Rabik. And for the degree of Master of Engineering, Materials Science and Engineering with honors, Maya Thabao Heron. <laughs> and in Materials Science and Engineering with Biomaterials with honors, Tom Dunn. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science, Materials Science and Engineering with honors, Saab Alinagi. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, John Agbike. <laughs> Carolina Cruz. <laughs> Rahul Kitan. Atika Mohammed. <laughs> Amir Mohammed Noruzi. <laughs> Jose Pedro Nunes da Silva Torres. Alessandro Usai. <laughs> Zishuan Wei. Ayanis <laughs> Zakaropoulos. And for the degree of Master of Philosophy, Process Integration, Ching Li. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Chemical Engineering, Atava Dianeshawa uh, Gavanhani. Sheikh Mohammed Shoudul Islam Noab. (Applause) 
and in advanced chemical engineering with accreditation, Namratha Magana. Adakola Adamson Olato Kunbo Adayoi. Majed Hassan A. Alasmari. Rehan Rakmansaye Al Faridizi. Uh, Mohammed RJR Al Hamnan. <laughs> Mohammed Abdo M. Alwani. <laughs> Riho Chaco Andrews. Chuin Hao Chong. Aditi Chatuvedi. Arnold Royal Chindripu. Jeping Du. Elsa Anieti Effiong. <laughs> Mohammed Yusuf Abdullah El Shakazi. <laughs> Sukrit Homnan. Vaishnavi um, Sakaram Jamkoaka. Uh, <laughs> Bhagav Kasu Venkatesh. <laughs> Samia Kumar. <laughs> Krishna Prasad Manoj. Sushant Shamsunda Mondal. Alberto Palmer Pardo. Lewis Norton. <laughs> Shubham Paruti. <laughs> Mohammed Dayaj uh, Rahul Amin Patel. Rajeshwari Badam Patil. <laughs> Xiang Song Su. <laughs> Bello Mohammed Saki. Mohammed Kasifali Ahmad Dali Syed. <laughs> Vivek Solomon Sili. <laughs> Yashaswi Sharma. <laughs> Shu Huan Tan.
Yogesh Kumar Virajibai Vadel. Yaxi Wang. Mengi Zhu. And in Advanced Process Integration and Design, Yusuf Kenchi. In Advanced Process Integration and Design with Accreditation, Abhinaf Agawal. Ajay Varughese George. And in subsurface energy engineering, Yungxing Hao. Gemma India Jones. Masaneza Fatih E. Shinyab. Yi Chi Sun. And for the award of postgraduate diploma, advanced process integration and design, Libin Jose Anthony. <laughs> and for degree of master of engineering, chemical engineering with honors, Oluwabai Sani. And in chemical engineering with industrial experience, with accreditation, with honors, Sirjan Ustuna. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, chemical engineering with accreditation, with honors, Mohammed Alnakas. Abdur Rahman Haq. <laughs> Nyanda Pranesh. <laughs> Mohammed Ullah. <laughs> Shuaib Zahid. Doctor of Philosophy of Materials, Benjamin Madden. <laughs> For the degree of Master of Science, Analytical Chemistry and Measurement Science, Matthew Scott Saunders. Uh, back to the School of Engineering uh, for the degree of Master of Science, Advanced Chemical Engineering with accreditation, uh, Bartomi uh, Grahowski. <laughs> and in Science, Textile Technology, Technical Textiles, Minchi Fu.
So, graduates, would you like to take a stand as graduates that you are now? Take a stand. smiles on your faces whilst I ask parents, supporters, family to also stand so that we can give you and them another round of applause. this final opportunity on behalf of the University of Manchester to say a huge well done. Continue to enjoy today, continue to enjoy the rest of this week as you really feel your achievements and celebrate your successes. You absolutely deserve it and we are so proud of what you have achieved. Well done. So please stay standing but I now proclaim this ceremony closed. <laughs>